so much laughter, which we love. <laughs> We are celebrating Human Rights Day in South Africa uh, during this month and we are, well we were told to wear an outfit that uh, showcases our freedom of expression. So freedom of expression is a human right and we decided that this year we were going to utilize the freedom of expression side of things as our main focus for Human Rights Day at Viliati. So, I'm wearing an outfit that I feel expresses myself, it's my freedom of expression. And yeah, and I think one of my favorite colors is pink. I think it's bold, it's a happy color, it's very out there, which represents me because I'm very bold to some extent. <laughs> I'm out there, happy, go with the flow type of person. So that's why I chose to wear that. And then obviously I love art, so my shoes have got little sketch marks on it. Then I decided to pair everything up with just a little bit of different color. And that's my socks with the sushi on it. I don't think it's something. Because <laughs> my socks has got a little sushi. Oh, it's got a little bit of little salmon, <laughs> maki, <laughs> sashimi. <laughs> that's all over yeah. here. And I wanted to put these socks on because they're cute and different. I mean, it's very bold, Josh, like you said. Yeah. Go with what Express you Express yourself of what you wear. And yeah. this, I think, this outfit explains it explains me in detail and also you can't be in fashion and not own a black polo neck <laughs> have to have that so that's why i've got my polo neck on underneath my jersey Love it. and that's my outfit for human rights one more question are you ready what's the <laughs> question <laughs> why is it important to you to stand for freedom of expression well it's an opportunity having freedom of expression is important to me because it's an opportunity to educate others on certain things that they might know. So some people could possibly approach a conversation with, with quite an ignorant standing. And it's each and every one of us, uh, each and every one of us have a responsibility to educate the next person on who we are, what we appreciate, what we like. And it's the next person's responsibility to take into consideration what these people say so that you understand people in general. So freedom of expression is a brilliant opportunity for us to be able to educate other people about who, what, why, and how we stand for things in general, whether it be what we like to eat, what we like to wear, when it comes to gender norms, when it comes to uh, political views, when it, become, when it comes to religion. It's very important for us to stand, express ourselves fully, and educate those around us on these various different topics so that people can learn more that way socially act better and take into consideration with other people so it's just other people say so it's a very critical way of looking at things you might be Hello I'm Penelope and I think freedom of expression is important because by being authentic and true to ourselves we can inspire other people to do the same. and I think that freedom of expression is very important for because lots of us don't know who we are so to see other people express themselves what might help you figure it out. Hi everyone my name is Mutati. Hi everyone my name is Lord and I think freedom of expression is important because it can be used as a medium to um, to, to raise awareness about certain social issues that are happening all around. Hello everyone, my name is Arku and I believe freedom of expression is the ability to express yourself to the fullest regardless of what other people think of you. Um, I also believe that we should be a leading example to the upcoming generation and help them to be more comfortable with themselves. Hi, my name is Dylan and I go to Liliati 
And uh, I think uh, freedom of expression is important, especially as artists and designers, because we inspire expression through our pieces of art. So like, imagine a world with no like expression. It'll be bland and boring. So like, that's my take on freedom of expression. Thank you. Uh, my name is James, and I'm one of the lecturers at Biliati. And my idea of freedom of expression is to stay positive. And that's why I'm bright and colorful, so that I can motivate you to stay positive. and I want to tell you what I think freedom of expression is important. So I think that in a world where everyone is just in a box and we all look the same, it's really important for us to stand out and make sure we glow in this world as we should because we shouldn't all fit in one box. We should all spread our wings, paint our world and our life a different color from everyone else's because we are not born to fit in, we're born to stand out. So. Thank you, Swazi. You You're look welcome. gorgeous. Thank you. Hi, Josh. What are you doing? I was just trying to fix <laughs> so these dresses. were all in the fitting room. So I was just trying to place them back where they're supposed to be so that they look nice. And yeah, had quite a hectic day today. Uh, I have been going to schools again. I know that we, we showed you a bit of content from me going to schools last year but i don't think we really put it into context so why are we going to these schools what is our point of going to these schools and it's primarily my responsibility as an employee at biliati to go to these schools to engage with the students to speak to them about the fashion industry and to speak to them about their direction what they want to do once they've done studying and obviously those that are interested in studying fashion will approach our stand at the schools and they'll chat to me and I'll fill them in. Um, I'll tell them a little bit about Biliati. I'll tell them what we offer, how we do things at the institution, invite them to an open day. And during, when we started our YouTube channel, obviously I had a lot of time on my hands because my job to some extent became impossible, if I can say that. Yeah. Because a lot of the schools that we did, a lot of the road shows that we had booked, a lot of um, the events that we put on that were related to chatting to students or going to schools or presentations kind of cut down immediately so I wasn't able to to do a very big portion of my job so I had a lot of time on my hands and I was able to then pull into the YouTube channel and start creating and start learning how to edit and work with these videos and obviously now that we're going back into our old normal you know i mean we say new normal but it's starting to go back to the old ways i mean we've been so busy with schools i just i've been out the whole time so Literally. i'm going to show you some some snippets of of me on the road going forward I'll, I'll i'll interview a few people on the road with me as well and give you a little bit of an introduction to how these people are now these people have found out or how these people have found their work over the past three years you know and i get to I'll show you some of the environments that I surround myself with. So I've been very busy with schools and I've been in and out of campus each day. And I thought it would just be nice for our viewers to see the context of the schools, why I go to the schools and, and, and what I really do at the schools. Uh, so yes, that's my little bit to add for today. So we are at the German school here in Joburg and we have just finished our presentations on the Rocky Peter Roadshow. We are now getting the lovely students, giving the lovely students time which we call mill around time and they are coming to our desk to ask questions and we then explain a little bit more about the Biliati Fashion Institute and everybody is doing that now on the road. So have a look. Come over guys. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Would you like to? 
So this is Houston's first time going to the schools. Her first experience going to the schools. <laughs> She's looking at all the students, looking at her, but um, yeah, she is here. Yeah, it's getting to experience what it's like to go to the schools with me. Yes. And we actually had a very, very lovely school in Johannesburg. It's the, the German school, D H D S J. Excuse me. Um, and it's always an experience coming here. We had a guest speaker that came to the school. It was the CEO of the Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital. She did a beautiful chat to the students about life after high school um, and it was a, a, a great experience and something really nice to, to um, start our, or not start our week, but to motivate us through the week as well. Um, so I'm happy to have Houston with me today. I'm happy to be at Josh. <laughs> got a vending machine so we have to sponsor it. Not sponsor it. Good like Samaritans. <laughs> no, give it some money. Can I have your diamonds? <laughs> no, give them to me. <laughs> oh sir, yes, I want them. Why not? Mine. These are mine sir. Work <laughs> <laughs> for them. Come on <laughs> man. Oh, so just did you do? I'm sorry sir. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> mean. Buy my own diamonds. Look at our vending machine. Okay, go on. I'm having whispers. Okay, but I have to make the machine work. You can put it. Who said you first? I just did. I see the Kit Kat taste, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know how much change I've got for your whispers. Well, what's 20 Rand going to do? Is that so like help? Vanessa only gets. Yeah. As a celebration of the Yeah, woo! <laughs> Daily limits. <laughs> Kids, Ask him again. When are you ready? <laughs> this is stress embodied. I, I have, yeah. I, think yeah. We should all I got funnel collections guys. and this is when you start kicking it. I really want to do it. No, you just start doing this. Give me my money. Yeah, there you go. What did we get? I got a kick pad. We oh. all are taking a. Thank you.